Good afternoon. I'm Jean-Pierre Basson, Senior Lecturer in the Department of Architecture at Nelson Mandela University. Today, I would like to share some of the findings in my study entitled FIM as an Alternative Architectural Teaching Device. This presentation is co-edited by my supervisor, Mr. Chris Allen, Head of the Construction Management Department at Nelson Mandela University. During this presentation, I will introduce the study by providing a brief background and the aim that led to the research methodology. Lastly, I will present the results after which I will conclude the presentation. The first approach to architectural education was in the form of an apprenticeship. The master and pupil relationship combined self-directed study and close observation of historical precedent. The Bow Arts approach was the first model that used an alternative approach to apprenticeship based on four primary elements. They call private ateliers, studios, the salon, and cafe life. With the technological changes occurring during the Industrial Revolution, a second approach, the Bauhaus education, was created in Germany. The Bauhaus education approach differed in that it brought together the artist and craftsman using art and technology. The Bauhaus School was the first educational model that introduced a curriculum to the architectural education system. In the 21st century South African architecture design education, the Bau Arts approach is still clearly evident in the form of the design studio. Given the above, the role that communication plays in the developing of an architectural student in the design studio is of utmost importance. In particular, the tools to achieve this become critical to their ability to succeed. Pen and paper. With the drafting procedures for centuries before the development of the personal computer that automated drafting processes through computer-aided drafting, CAD. This process of manually entering and changing data was time consuming. The conventional method, this holds limitations as analysis are carried out separately and are prone to errors whilst being painstakingly slow process and sometimes misunderstood. Today, the profession is moving away from a two dimensional method of working and more towards intelligent modeling. The main approach is building information modeling or simply known as BIM, which acts to promote project information sharing among industry professionals. Compared to the traditional two-dimensional design process, BIM models contains design information which is rich in physical and functional characteristics about construction documentation and the project life cycle. Introducing BIM into the academic program offers several advantages for the student lecturer and employer. Two of the benefits are noted as graduates with BIM training and expertise in the process and workflow are more employable compared to students without or very little BIM knowledge. And BIM can be a platform to bridge the traditional silo education of architectural, engineering and construction management students. Three prominent challenges face the implementation of BIM education into the architectural education system. The first is a lack of BIM expertise, resistance from academics, and lastly, a curriculum that is already fully really packed. As an associate lecturer, I notice a pattern in the students' performance in the Department of Architecture at Nelson Mandela University with students failing to complete their studio-based design projects on time. Throughout the year, design submission deadlines are not met or only partially met, thereby leading to a situation where some projects are still incomplete at the time of the final examination. Poor time management was the easiest excuse to explain the inability of students to complete projects on time. However, the literature indicates that the problem may lie in the design communication processes involving both the student and lecturers during the design development stages of a project. Therefore, this study aimed to determine whether BIM, as opposed to the conventional method, could improve informed design communication during conceptual 
designed for the first year Master of Architecture students contributing to timeless design project submissions. The study adopted a qualitative research design by using an observational strategy with a primary data collection as a cohort comparison study that enabled the differences between the conventional method and the BIM method of working to be documented. A capability factor was used to analyze the cohort as the research focused on whether the BIM method is capable of improving communication compared to the conventional method. The participants were all first year postgraduate students, meaning their fourth year of study, from both the 2016 and 2017 cohorts. Nine students were randomly selected to participate in the cohort study, which represented a third of the class. The 2016 cohort used the conventional method to design, whereas in the 2017, BIM was introduced in the architectural computer usage module and integrated into the architecture and ecology design project. A literature study was conducted to establish six attributes that formed the framework to assess the quality of information produced in student work. The six are responsiveness, relationship, modification, accuracy, intelligence, and representation. The first attribute, responsiveness, is defined as establishing project requirements during the project information stage. The conventional method found that students did not attend their first design critique session, as they were still pondering on what the design was all about due to a lack of a structured project and accommodation schedule. Furthermore, when students attended critique sessions, the discussions was one dimensional due to the lack of different drawing types. On the other hand, the BIM code had well-structured project information parameters stating both quantitative and qualitative information, which allowed the students to engage in conversations at the start of the critique sessions with different drawing types. Relationship can be defined as the ability to associate, link, and connect different building components and spatial planning using different platforms. The conventional method uses a manual method of creating different drawing types, so plans, your sections, and elevations, and are error-prone prone due to this manual workflow. The drawings are not legible, and lectures had to constantly ask, um, what is this, or what do you mean by this sketch? And there was this kind of feel like, hmm, this is a cool idea. I will work and worry about the materials and how that linked to construction techniques at a later stage. The BIM code had to deal with the selection of material and construction techniques much earlier in the design process. Without the prior, prior selection, modeling will be impossible. This enhanced the design decision and spatial planning. The drawings use universal drawing standards and are information rich. Modification can be regarded as the extent to which the design can be modified and explored. The BIM code uses a holistic approach to modeling, which allows different views to be updated simultaneously. Making changes are quick and attending the next critique session was achievable. The conventional method uses a manual, painstakingly slow process, and in many cases, redrawing the right content, and let's say the contours or site information, takes so long that the students didn't get to the point to make the changes to explore the design opportunities towards the next critique session. Accuracy can be described as the exactness or closeness of representing the building design information. In the BIM cohort, students made the changes faster and many what if scenarios played off early in the design process. In the conventional method, Accuracy is in the hands of each student and their ability. In many cases, plans and sections don't correlate, or elevations and other illustrative material did not correlate with the plan and section. The meaning of intelligence in the context refers to the ability of an object to represent the real world object. 
there are two aspects to this category. Due to the geolocation information using BIM allows for more accurate, sustainable information. And the second is when looking at a CAD drawing, a wall is just four lines grouped together. It does not contain the information like the type of material, the height, the R value, etc. Using the BIM method, a wall is more than just four lines representing the depth. It includes materials, the height, and other real wall properties. Representation is the ability to define and to communicate the design ideas. With the holistic modeling process of BIM, multiple views, 3D material, and the linkage to other platforms such as 3D printing and laser cutting was possible. This is restricted in the conventional method where students drew the basic required drawings of plan sections and elevations with no time to produce any three-dimensional three illustrations. From this study, four themes are prominent that can assist the lecturers in identifying when students are falling behind and help students to manage their submissions. When a student is showcasing a drop in their competencies, such as drawing techniques and accuracy, when project information is lacking, the students who used BIM indicated they spent around 96 hours on the project, which were 47% less time than the conventional method students. This will allow students to feel more control of their stories, studies. And lastly, another clue is non-participation. The data gathered at the start of the study indicated that there is an inability to communicate during critique sessions between student and lecturer. The building information modeling method assisted students and staff to improve on this, providing the capability to improve the information produced. The conventional method limited the exchange in the quality attributes of information produced by the students, hindered the production of well-informed sets of information, and did not improve communication between students and lecturer. The suggested sin is that the 47% time saving by students on submissions shows a greater efficiency using BIM, which will have a marked impact on the number of students submitting on time. Thank you very much.